Now, in this video, I want to help guide newcomers who are interested in learning about the process and give them an idea of what are the best questions to ask and make sure that you make the best decision. I will break down the basics in simple terms so that you can make informed decision about a solar system. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my first video of our Solar 101 series. In today's video, we will answer important questions like, is solar right for you and your family? What are the next steps if you're starting the process? Solar can be very confusing for homeowners who are thinking about making this change. This video will guide you through the what to expect and how to navigate through the sometimes cloudy waters of installing a solar system in your home. I will break down the basics in simple terms so that you can make informed decision about a solar system. The majority of homeowners I speak with are not familiar with a lot of the different types of systems of equipment and details in involved with going solar or with the investment itself. Now, many of my videos focus on, on like the technical data, breaking down the different types of equipment, testing it, see what different manufacturers are offering and how it all affects the production looking at data sheets. Now, if you're new to my channel, this is a lot of the videos that I post and make on this channel. Now, in this video, I want to help guide newcomers who are interested in learning about the process and give them an idea of what are the best questions to ask and make sure that you make the best decision. All right, let's get started. The first and most important step is to make sure that you are working with a reputable company. We have worked with many people who did not make the correct choice and spent thousands of dollars and the system does not even work. There are a lot of companies that are in this industry just to try to turn the quickest profit they can without licensed installers or a plan to maintain the system after the installation is complete. When a solar system is installed correctly and monitored consistently, there are not really that many issues that can arise. There are many local installers that have been in the industry for a long time and are willing to help you in any way that they can. Now, what I like to emphasize to a lot of people that even if they do not choose to go solar with my company of DFW area, we will help answer questions to ensure that they are getting the correct information. Now, I personally talked to many people who have been severely overcharged or others who end up with subpar equipment or just poor installations. This is not only a burden on your wallet, it can potentially be very dangerous. I mean, we are talking about your home's electrical system. You really do not want to mess with it. Again, I will leave my info below so that if you want to connect with a reputable installer in your area and get pricing on a solar system or a battery, you can absolutely reach out to me directly. Now back to the video. <laughs> so. Check out the reviews of local installers on Google or solar sites like Energy Sage, BBB. This will give you an idea of what people have experienced working with these local companies. Local installers have big advantage of understanding local laws when it comes to HOA, city permitting, and net metering options with electricity providers. There are often also local rebates available that people from out of states are just not aware of, so you may actually be missing out on money that you would otherwise get if you went with a local provider. Once you have narrowed down to a few, be sure to get reference lists from the company so that you can actually reach out to customers who can give you an idea of what to expect and what is involved. Now, I'm actually very serious about it. This is just like with a job interview. Ask for references. Before the initial conversation with the sales representative, be proactive and have several recent electric bills ready for them to analyze. And this is actually very important in sizing the system right and making sure that the optimal proposals are made available for you. Again, very, very important. Share your historical usage. One of the most important things to do or to remember is do not sign anything after your initial call. This is the time to get to know your sales representative, learn about the company and what you should expect 
after the first call. Ask if they have an office in the area, if they have their own installation team, how long they have been in business, if they're fully insured. Maybe they can even provide a proof of that. If you find some negative reviews, ask what happened in that situation and how it was resolved. All companies make mistakes. I mean, we're all human. But what did the company do to correct the issue when it came up? Now, pricing is obviously one of the one of the most important factors when it comes to solar. Most reputable companies are going to have comparable pricing. This is when you focus on the type of the equipment being used, warranty, service, and maintenance after the installation. Now, never go for the lowest price, especially if it's significantly lower than the others. I mean, if you're getting a range of like twenty to twenty-two thousand dollars for a comparable system, and then you get a quote for sixteen thousand dollars, something does not seem right. There is a reason that it's so much lower. Either it's just not very good equipment or it's just a company trying to sell as much as they can as fast as they can. And we've actually seen quite a lot of this in DFW area. Companies just sell the systems at an extremely low rates. But once it comes to service, the system or just being there to fixing the issue, you cannot get in touch with them. Some of these companies will even have good reviews. But after a few years when problems come up they cannot handle all the calls and do not have the capital to honor the warranties and be there for you when you need it there's a pretty specific price range that most good companies will be in and there will also be using good equipment so just stay away from companies that have prices outside of that range or use equipment that you cannot find a lot of information on Prices are different in different states as well, so you can look this up on Google. All the healthy and good businesses are going to be within that range. And if they are far below, they are trying to earn a quick buck, sell of their equipment in order to find an exit strategy. Once that happens, you're not a look. <laughs> And we've actually seen so much of this here in DMW. I mean, we service systems daily of businesses that did this. And people pay for those services. I mean, we can't do this for free, right? I mean, I wish we could do this like a volunteer, but obviously we have to do it for, you know, fees. After you speak to a few of these companies, get some competing quotes and make sure you are comparing apples to apples, not to oranges. There are many tools that can be used to determine how much power solar will produce in using different equipment on your specific roof. Make sure the production numbers they are estimating are accurate and feasible. Some companies will actually manipulate those numbers in order to make it look like their system will produce more so that their quote will have a smaller system size and ultimately have a lower cost. Now, if you notice that big of a discrepancy bet between your quotes, ask the salesperson why. Have them send you a copy of their production calculation or use one of the online tools that which are free to use to verify the numbers. And I'm actually working on a future video, part of that 101 series for you, covering how to verify production number using the online tools available. So just make sure to subscribe to the channel, not to miss those videos in the future. And of course, click on the like and the subscribe button, which is, I already said that. <laughs> All right, back to the video. You can also ask if they guarantee their production numbers. Now, if they say they do not, then you might not or they might not be actually close to the output that they're promising. Mm -hmm. So they're probably overestimating. You almost would rather have them underestimate and be conservative so that you are surprised at the end. Positively surprised. Once you find an installer that you would like to work with, there are still other things that you can do to give yourself a peace of mind about your investment. Ask if you can come to their office and meet the team and see the operation. This allows you to become familiar with the people that will be helping you throughout the process and who will be helping maintain your system for the next 10 to 25 years. Companies that will be around for a long time will have a professional setting and will give you access to any resources you need to answer any questions. This should alleviate any doubt when it comes to who you are working with. 
You can also use this time to have your sales rep walk you through the contract. So make sure it corresponds with what you've been told during the sales process. Warranty, service, point of contact, payment or financing schedules. Those are some of the topics that should be covered during that meeting. Maybe you can have some coffee with me if that's who you're going solar with if you are in North Texas. There's so many sleazy reps in the industry trying to make a quick profit, but there are just as many honest and friendly reps looking to truly help the homeowners during the process and continue for many years after the process is completed. Here at Solar Time, we like to look at it as a 25-year marriage, and that's the company that you want to look for wherever you are. We like to get things done right the first time to minimize the number of times that you are not producing at an efficient level. All companies can make sure their customers are at top priority, and those are the companies that you need to work with. So again, even if you're not in DFW area, you can reach out to me and I can help answer those questions or get you in touch with someone local that has the same values as my company. Again, do not be afraid to ask as many questions as you can come up with. Take your time and do not let anyone rush you into signing anything. Solar has so many benefits and can save you a ton of money. You just have to make sure that you choose the right company to work with. If a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. If somebody tells you that you have to sign before so-and-so date or the price changes, Call another company. This is a big investment, so just make sure that you feel comfortable with the decision and with the person that you are working with. All right, guys, that is it for today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and stay tuned for further videos in our Solar 101 series and, of course, other videos on solar and other tech.